Good morning and grace and peace, everybody. How are you? This is day 12 of Consecration 2022. I want to talk about joy. I want to talk about joy, specifically the joy of the Lord. I, I remember in he, uh, actually reading in Nehemiah, and um, I was going through Nehemiah, you know, uh, reading the d different books of the Bible, and I was just reading how Nehemiah had a passion for God and a passion for God's house, a passion for Jerusalem. And Nehemiah, as many may remember, had the job of the king's cupbearer. The cupbearer was the guy, <laughs> quite honestly, that put his life on the line every day because the cupbearer would taste the wine, specifically in this case, the wine of the king before the king tasted it. You know, because if somebody was trying to poison the king, the cupbearer would get it and die. So they knew they had a uh, risky job, <laughs> extremely risky job. So here's Nehemiah, and um, most royalty in biblical times, and even today, um, like light atmospheres. They like people around them in their atmosphere that are not complainers, not um, gripers, not people that um, come to work with an attitude. Um, most kings, especially in the Western culture, used to have uh, fools or jesters <clears throat> around to, <clears throat> excuse me, crack jokes or um, do tricks or uh, just make folk laugh. And that was the job of one of the people to keep the atmosphere light. Well, it's the job of the cupbearer to take his life in his hands every day and taste the king's food before the king would eat it taste the wine before the king would drink it. So Nehemiah came to work one day and had a solemn countenance, a solemn attitude. Nehemiah uh, was not his usual self. And because he had garnered the favor of the king, the king noticed that he wasn't his usual self and asked Nehemiah what was wrong. In some cases, the king was like, you know your job is to come to work and have a right attitude. Let me get you out of here. You know, he could have killed him or something. But Nehemiah had gone at favor because he did his job and he gained favor as an excellent worker. The king asked him what's wrong. Nehemiah then explained about how the walls of Jerusalem were down and how the city was in ruins and, and uh, all the things that needed to happen to get Jerusalem back up to habitability. There were people that were left there that basically uh, were tillers of the ground, vagabonds, um, you know, not productive people. And there were people there like Sam Ballot, Tobiah, and Geshem that got used to Jerusalem looking like that, and they liked it, okay? So Nehemiah mentioned his concern to the king. The king sent them back with everything he needed to rebuild Jerusalem's walls with, first of all, the authority. Then he sent them back with the money to buy what was needed. And we know the story in 52 days, they built the wall to half its height and then they finished the work. Along the way, people got discouraged and Nehemiah quoted the worshipful scripture, a powerful word. He said, the joy of the Lord is my strength. It's your strength. Joy is a choice, okay? Joy is not an emotion. It is not a status of um, just being happy. Joy is a knowledge, a choice. First of all, it's a choice that you make because you refuse to be sad. You refuse to be upset, you refuse to be discouraged and stay that way. And even when you, excuse me, may feel discouraged, joy takes over and encourages you. Joy is a knowledge that in Christ, with Christ, because of Christ, I'm always victorious. Now that's my definition for me now. Back then, Nehemiah's was in God, in God's purpose, in God's work. I am victorious and I'll win. 
So we kind of along the same line. <laughs> but today, I want you to make yourself to enjoy your life because you as a believer have joy. Joy, a choice. Joy, a knowledge. Joy, more than an emotion. You are in control of your disposition. You are in control of your attitude. I challenge you today, day 12, covenant day. Be a person of joy. Choose joy. Know joy, okay? Because the joy of the Lord is your strength. Keep it moving. Day 12, Consecration 2022. Today, a day of joy.